Greetings Star Wars fans. Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike and today we're going to break away from the standard video discussions and reviews. I wanted to do something completely different and just take a few minutes and share this with you guys because I'm super excited uh, uh, about these. This is a pair of Minolta autofocus binoculars and if you have never seen these it is because they are about 20 years old and I came across these completely by chance on eBay I was looking for something else and I discovered that these are the very first uh, set of true autofocus binoculars to be released on the market and they were sold by Minolta this pair is an 8x22 set they also manufactured a 10x25 set when they were originally released in I think 1993, 94, somewhere in that time frame, the original MSRP on this set in front of you was around 280 to $300. The 10x25s were much more expensive. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, then you immediately see the resemblance of these to a pair of macro binoculars. Now, if you don't know what macro binoculars are, if you've watched A New Hope, uh, you see Luke Skywalker looking frantically for R2-D2, and those binoculars that he pulls out are a pair of macro binoculars. There are many different types, many different designs, but in essence, macro binoculars have autofocus on them, and they have image stabilization. The electro binoculars, like we see in The Empire Strikes Back, where the Hoth soldiers are scanning the ridgeline for the Imperial walkers, Electro binoculars are a little bit more complex. They are, of course, more expensive. They feature image capture and video review features. They have thermal imaging capabilities. They have night image capabilities. Um, so they are a much more complex device. And most of the Rebel soldiers favored macro binoculars because they were cheap, they were easy to acquire, easy to replace. So these uh, real world autofocus binoculars in front of you do not feature image stabilization but they do have autofocus and they are just a phenomenal piece of equipment I purchased them for two reasons one for cosplay but the other reason being uh, we are working on a Star Wars fan film entitled Prime Response and I wanted something that was as close to real as I could get and Sony does make a set of uh, image stabilization binoculars that have all the features uh, of an electro binocular handset and they cost about a thousand dollars a pair how many of us can afford that so for forty five dollars shipping included this was a steal and most of these on ebay sell for forty five to fifty five dollars a pair there's not a lot of them out there and this set is practically brand new no scratches no dings, nothing wrong with them. The lenses aren't scratched on them at all. You can see they are really, really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at these very quickly. So as you can see, these are the uh, the 8x22s. If I can get it to to uh, camera to go back into focus there. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, it would be nice if it did. There we go. So here's the power button. You turn this on. You can hear the gears adjust. This button on the right, when you look at an object, if you hold this down, it will continue to focus on that object uh, as the binoculars move. This is your manual uh, focus buttons over here for zooming in, zooming out. Of course, you have your eyepiece. This is the battery compartment. It operates off of one, uh, two CR5 battery. I think it's a three volt battery is how it's listed now. Of course, you can see the the nose piece here and they're very comfortable to use they only weigh about two pounds on the bottom side these are individual focus levers for each of uh, each objective lens here this uh, slider switch what this does is it brings both objectives into focus and it looks like a monocular lens when you're looking through these binoculars and this is a lockout switch to keep this from moving and I have to say, I have great difficulty in using a pair of binoculars simply because uh, I'm left eye dominant and I have some uh, muscle 
damage to my right eye. One of the muscles uh, pulls my eye almost like astigmatism. So it's very difficult for me to uh, to uh, look through a pair of binoculars and focus correctly. I don't have that problem with these at all. Um, and, and that is just phenomenal for me. I love these things. I love playing with them. They're very, very nice. The only thing I can't do is really demonstrate how they work because I don't have an adapter to fit on the back of my phone uh, to go against uh, the eyepiece here. I've tried taking some video earlier and it's just not... It, it, the clarity of it isn't sufficient where you could actually see the function of these binoculars operating. Um, but again, these arrived the other day. They were practically brand new, out of the box, well taken care of, and uh, I simply wiped them down. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lettering here and here, you know, uh, again for cosplay and, and for the fan film. And, uh, you know, $45, you can't beat this. It's a great, great product. So if you guys are into cosplay, you're looking for a pair of macro binoculars, there you go. You know, um, if you want to spend more money and get a set with a laser range finder and uh, image stabilization, image and video capture, uh, enhanced uh, low light capability, then by all means uh, go out and buy Sony's pair for over a thousand dollars. They do all of that and more. Uh, but for just what I'm using them for and what most of you would use them for is a pair of macro binoculars from Star Wars this is the thing to buy and uh, I'm really really excited about this and I'm glad I was able to pick these up so there you have the Minolta autofocus 8x22 binoculars and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video as always check out my Facebook page Dark Horizon Creations where I show off all of my custom work I also have a, a weekly blog uh, darkhorizoncreations.home.blog thank you guys for watching stay tuned there's more to come